Hello guys, I'm Mukesh Kumar and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to create local notification. So for that, first you need to create new Xroad project and then choose single view application and name as local notification demo right and choose language as objective c just click on next button and then just create it where you want to save and choose the simulator as iphone 7 and just go to main storyboard and here we will create a button after clicking on that button we will get the notification so for that I am taking this button over here like this and naming it as 10 sec sec is for seconds 10 second notification right just maximize this like this yeah and you can also put the constraints like x and y position is zero like this and you can set its width and height as well like this we can also change the background mm -hmm. color of button from here like we are taking this so that button should be visible and next we need to create property for this button in dot h file just select this and pressing control button drop it into the block of interface and name it as btn or you can type show notification make sure its action type should be sorry its connection type should be action and just click on connect like this and next step is to add framework so just click on this project and in journal tab under linked frameworks and libraries just click on this plus button over here and search un user notification framework not un it's user notification like this so just click on next and the framework is added into our project right so go back to dot h file of view controller and here we need to import that framework and the name of framework is user sorry it's, this sign will be used user notification yeah and later on we have to code for the permissions for authorization from the user and that code will be written in the block of view did load method so here i'm taking the class name that is un user notification center creating its instance giving name center equals to the same class name un user notification center and i am using its current settings like current notification center so here i have created instance for this notification center and next i will use a class un authorization options and instance name i am giving options equals to here we have uh, three types of authorization options one is like alert sound and third one is batch 
right so I am using only alert and sound so for that I will use UN authorization option alert plus UN authorization sound so when the alert will be shown there will be sound prompted like this right and next I am requesting the authorization so using this instance center request authorization with options with the completion handler so I will pass here options which I have just created over here and the completion handler will be this right and here in the completion handler granted variable returns bool type value if the users allow the notifications to receive then it will return true so for that I am taking one global variable of pool type is granted notification access like this and at startup I am putting false value in it is grant notification access equals to false and this is the code where is granted will change its value to true if the user accepted to receive load notification like this right and on the basis of this variable this button action will be executed so I am putting the if condition here and in if condition I am putting is granted notification access means if this is true then only run those statements right so here I need to create authorization request and for that I need this center instance so I'm just copying and pasting it here like this and then I need to create content because in notification authorization we need content and trigger for creating content I will use the class UN mutable notification content a strict sign the name of instance is also content and equals to UN mutable notification content alloc and simply type in it like this on the basis of this instance content I can set its title like this notification title I can also set its subtitle if required like this equals to add the rate double quotes notification subtitle and I can also set its body just a second like this this is notification body and at the last I am setting the sound for this and sound will be uh, for its value we need to put square brackets then un notification sound space default sound like this right and after that we need to set trigger so I'm just doing this like 
and here I will create the instance sorry it should be in the if condition and here I am creating the trigger so class will be un time interval notification trigger name of instance will be same trigger and here un time interval notification trigger with interval here I will type the time in seconds so as I have taken the 10 seconds notification so I will put the value 10 and it is in seconds right and I don't want to repeat this notification so I will simply put no like this and at the end setting up the request for notification so using the class un notification request and the name of instance is again request and again using the same class i will use request with identifier and then content and trigger is needed so this method will be used so here i am giving some identifier like this ui local notification like this basically this is the identifier which override the existing request or you can say uh, existing notification can be overridden right and here i will simply pass the content and here will pass the trigger we have already or already created now using the center instance i'm adding the request now so here i will simply pass the request which i have been created and in the completion handler i will simply pass nil like this and sorry uh, this issue is for strict sign here a strict sign will not be used yeah it is now fine and after that we can run and check how it works so this is our project and when i click on this button i will simply go to home screen by pressing command shift and h here i will receive this notification right so one more thing if you want to run your local notification on the foreground app so for that we need to add some coding into the app delegate class for that we need to import first that framework and that is user notification and after that we need to add un user notification center delegate because the predefined method is in this protocol and in dot m file I need to add one predefined method and name is will present notification this method is used and putting the curly braces in this here I will use the class un user not user un notification presentation options because we want to present some options so I am giving the instance name like this and I will use the options one is alert and second is sound 
so for that I will use UN notification presentation UN notification presentation alert plus UN notification presentation notification presentation sound right and in the completion handler I need to simply execute this presentation option that's it and to execute this method we need to set protocol to self so here I will first create the instance of center means you notification center un notification sorry un user notification center center equals to un user notification center current notification center and then center dot delegate that's why i've created this center dot delegate equals to self that's it so we can again run the project to see the effect so I'm just clicking on this button and without going to home, I'm just checking whether it is coming on the foreground app or not. Yeah, here it is. So this is our lo local notifications appeared on the foreground app. So that's it. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Bye bye.